So, uh, Devonte, we'll start with you. Uh, Devonte, you want to talk about what your experience was uh, this year being on the National Capital League board? So, my experience, you, you can't make correctly, right? Yep. Okay. So, my experience <clears throat> with this board, it was my first and only year doing this. And honestly, it was a fun experience with like the meetings, even though they were virtual, like those meetings were very interactive in my liking. Um, the competitions, the like talking about it with other people, I think that was the best part about it. Getting people engaged with it, I like that the most with this. Um, the one thing I could sit there and say that I, You got to the key point and froze. <laughs> uh, you. All right, when you can come back in, you can come back in. Uh, Patrick, what about you? What, tell, tell about your experience this year on the National Capital League Board. Okay, so for the um, record, this is my second year on the board. For everyone, that, that was that. that Say it again. Go, go, go ahead. Finish your statement. You froze up on us. Yeah. So, uh, I'll tell you what, Devontae, if it's better for you to go just uh, voice only, then you can go voice in. Can you hear me? Uh, please don't freeze. Yeah, uh, Let ahead. me see something. Zero. Let me see something. Okay, let me, let me see that one. After we stop it. Find that right spot in the room. Um, okay. Let's try it. Okay, let's try back here. Did this work? Please work. It's gonna be dark. There we go. Okay, please work. Okay. Good so far. Okay, I just got, I got to stand right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> right. go, go ahead and finish. We got, you, you got all the way right to, you got to tell us and then it frees up right at the right spot. So my, one of my favorite experience of this program would be Everything going stemming from having the brothers from different chapters, having different leaguers from different chapters, put this all together and make it work. And the competitions and the fun activities we've done, I like that with the program. And life skills that even though some of the skills I've already learned from my chapter, I'm learning more from other places as well. Very good. Patrick, you want to talk about your experience on the board? Okay. So, again, this is my second year on the board. And, like, personally, I'm just learning a lot because from my chapter, we focus a lot more on, you know, kind of like college prep, um, learning how it developed, but um, when we get on the board, it's more like you you become the leader, like you, you're you already a young man, you're leading others by example, like they, they're, um, you know, they're kind of looking for you, like for you to be an example, and I think it's, um, I think it's very, I think it's very beneficial for um, me and as well as my chapter, because, you know, I feel like we have a say in what is going on within Kappa League, and I like how it's, you know, we just, we're all connected. Like, I don't feel like we're divided, even though it's on a, a Zoom call. I feel like we all have something in common. All right. I think it's beneficial. All right, Kendall, what about you? Um, 
this is my first year on the board and uh the biggest thing for me was meeting other like black young men that are trying to like get ahead in life or learn new things uh from all around like in different states and stuff because i never really met like a lot of people from other states than around like around my own community like it was the only people i know so like everybody's not really like thinking outside like everybody else and like also with different people from different places i get different point of views on things like while talking to them and learning like different things they know or what they do and stuff like that uh chancellor i know you're on you want to talk about your your experience on uh national capital league board chancellor uh, good evening. Good evening. Oh, what? You want to talk about your experience on the National Capital League? Oh, um, well, I got to meet new people for one. It's good to – it gives me an opportunity personally to see everyone's opinion of diff different matters because – like because they're all around the country like someone from North Carolina for example might have a different opinion on something than someone who lives in California so it just gives me an experience just to see um, na nationwide everyone's point of views okay. last but not least Sion uh, so this is my first year I would say um, one thing that's very important for me is like I'm like I don't want to sound arrogant, but like I try to be like a smart and a knowledgeable person. And how you become a smart person is that you have people that are way smarter and more knowledgeable around you. So I like being on the National Capital League Board because it opens up my mind. And like it's nice to have like black men that know your life and know your experiences, like know stuff that's going on with you because it's different, right? So I think that's important. So I think having that as an example, for me, it's also very important. So that's why I like being on the National Capital League Board. I like the experience of having, you know, young black men that are my age group that I could talk with, that I can relate with as well. Yeah. yeah. I want to say you guys have done a great job. You guys did, did more this past year than the previous board. So uh, you should be very uh, pleased about that. Uh, one of the things I'm going to go back through everyone, I'll, I'll start with you, Zion, since uh, – uh, since you're here, uh, what what advice would you give uh, to next year's uh, board? Um, I think that next year, like we can just do. I think we did a lot of work this time. I think we do need to be more tech savvy. Um, I do want to do a, an official debate. Hopefully, we can do it in person. But I'd be curious to have the first cap of Congress online as well. So that's something that I'd be really interested to give. Okay. Uh, Chancellor, what about you? What, what advice do you have for the, for the next board? Chancellor? Yeah, sorry. Um, I All think right. that they should just use everybody that's going to be on the board. They should just work on networking. They, they shouldn't only be talking to each other on the calls, but just talking to each other, just a hi, how are you doing? And just getting different connections for things in the future for yourself. Okay, good. Kendall? Um, I think uh, one of the things is, um, what was I going to say? Dang, I forgot it. One of the things I was going to say was, um, Hmm. Can y'all come back to me? I gotta remember. I gotta remember what I said. That's all right, Devonte. Devonte. Okay, there we go. One thing that I could say that I want the next board members to do if they do come on is to honestly, um, put like don't be afraid to say your ideas, like. Put your ideas out there, no matter how big or how small they are, and to also, within adversity, work together as a team. Um, and don't try, don't, don't, 
don't be afraid to step out your comfort zone and just try something new. Yeah. Answer? Um, I'll say for the next board, don't be afraid to be you. If you're educated and you know that you are educated, like you're smarter than maybe some of your class, you know, be you. It's okay to be smart. It's okay to be the smartest person in the room. And if you're not the smartest person in the room, that's also okay. Like, you want to find people that are at your caliber or above it. So when we step in this board, that's one of the things I like about it. There are people that I meet mean, that are smarter. So again, don't be afraid to be yourself. All right. uh, Kendall. All right, I remember. So first thing I was going to say was uh, make sure like, or not make sure, but like, let it know, let like, let the next people know that it's okay to give their input. Kind of like what Devante was saying, like being able to share no matter what. And don't be shy because, like, we all young black men, so nobody's going to, like, get on somebody for putting in some input. <clears throat> and another thing was um, also, like, taking the information and the knowledge that you gained from the board and taking it back to your chapter and maybe teaching some other young people that, like, that you know that are also in Capital League. Excellent. All right. Oh, can I want to say something really quickly. Sure. Okay. I misheard what you said. I thought you said, what do you want to do for next year? So my no, I advice- said, I said, what, what's your recommendation for my next year? Recommendation, my recommendation would be is that leadership never comes to you. You always have to fight for leadership. In life, usually things don't get handed to you. You have to fight for them. John Lewis had to march in Selma and do all these things, and he lost his first race to get into politics and then became a very successful politician. Martin Luther King, he was very smart. He had to work to get where he was in life. So when you're on the Cap National Capital League Board and you have all these different ideas, number one, don't be scared to do them. Number two, if you have an idea, don't expect everybody else to do your idea. Because I, I, I don't like people who always have stuff to say, but they don't, they don't want to put in the work. Put in the work, do your idea. Christian Mr. Burnett, I'll probably give you a shot. Just do the work. That's, those are my two pieces of advice. All right, good. All right, uh, Patrick, we're going to go back to you, and we're going to, uh, unless I think of something else, we're going to have two more questions. So, and Patrick, so this will be in relation not so much to the board, but to uh, your Kappa League experience in general. What is, and I'm thinking about mainly from your chapter there, what is the, what's the best thing uh, you find what's the best thing for you about Capital League in, in your chapter, Patrick? In my chapter specifically, I like how our director connects us with older, young black men. Like sometimes we go on um, college tours, and there's a lot of you know people that look like us and that want, that are our major that we want to become. So it's a lot of, um, there's a lot of interaction. You can get their number, you can ask them for advice, but also if there's someone in your Kappa League chapter that's older than you, you can also, you know, consult to them if you don't feel like, um, like someone that's, you know, older is listening to you. You can consult to someone that's, you know, a few years older than you instead of like you know, maybe in their like 50, 40, like 20 years younger. Older. Mm -hmm. uh, Devante, what's the uh, best thing about Capital League for you and your chapter? Um, for my chapter, like I've been in my chapter for three years and there's not, I can't pinpoint one perfect, like one like major experience, but I could sit there and I could say that throughout those three years, I can sit here and say that the best things are the community part, the community building. And we go out to help the community. We went to um, a few places in my, in our hometown of Silver Spring, Maryland to help out the homeless, cl closing poverty, doing all that stuff. That was the best thing about my chapter. I can sit there and I can say like the love for doing it, the thirst for doing it, um, like that right there, I could say. 
Before we go on, you, you know, I'm, I'm always a curious type person. So what's, what's the last line on your, I see nothing happens unless, what's the, unless on my, on your shirt, nothing happens oh. unless <laughs> nothing first, happened unless first a dream by oh. Carl Sandburg. Okay. I, I'm just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, Kendall, talk about what's uh, the thing about Kappa League in your chapter. Uh, for me, I would say um, just learning things that I probably wouldn't learn in school or like, and like also finding people that like could actually help me. Like, for example, we had some guy, he came and talked to us about like stocks and then another guy talked to us about like how to manage your money. Like you would have to go like to a certain class or take a certain class or like maybe your school doesn't even offer that class to learn about stuff like that. But to have a person come there and like give us a one-on-one -on -one about how to do it. And then also like the capital is giving us an opportunity. Like if we want to learn more, he can get us, they can get us connected to that person. I feel like that was the best thing for my chapter. Okay. Chancellor? Uh, I feel like the best thing for my chapter, personally, I feel like the group of uh, young men in my chapter, we got along really well. Like, there was nobody who, like, really thought differently. We would have our, um, we would have our arguments here and then, but it's just, like, we're actually, like, brothers. Like, we actually, like, talk to each other outside of the meetings so it's just um building another bond with just another group of young black men it was just um it was heartwarming for me so that's why i liked it yeah Zion? um i was talking on mute my bad um <laughs> I, I would say that the mentorship aspect for me was really cool because it was like like when Mr. Herb and his son Brandon, like they were like, I, it's cool to know that I can have someone who's like, you know, way ahead of me in life to advise me. Like it's good to have that certain kind of connection and know like I can always have people to depend on. So, I mean, I've been Catholic. This will be my second year coming up. And I definitely like, it's been a lot of fun. Good. I'm going to start back with you, Zion, as we come back up with the last question. Uh, what's the from a, uh, Kappa League perspective, what's the one thing you'd like to see changed or improved? Yep, Zion, we going to you. Oh, um, I, I mean, I think we do a pretty good job. I'm just saying myself, I mean, um, I mean, we can, I guess, um, try to be more tech, technologically advanced. We're pretty tech advanced, but you can always do better. You can always improve, I guess. So that's, that's what I would say. Okay. Good. Chancellor, what's one thing, uh, from a Catholic perspective, we can improve or change? Uh, do you mean in my chapter or Cap League as a whole? It could be in your chapter or Cap League as a whole. Um, I feel like in my chapter personally, I feel like we need to be more strict, especially with the younger kids, because it's just like they have shorter attention spans and they're, you know, they, they don't, it's like they don't like following directions as much. It's just, um, so yeah, I feel like being more strict on the younger ones just to have their full on attention will, you know, have them learn that when someone's speaking, you should be paying attention to them. Okay. Kendall? Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I think Kappa League does a great job. I think maybe one of the things that we could change as a whole is like spreading the word of the YouTube channel. Cause with the amount of people that's like in Kappa League, like relative to the amount of subscribers we have, I know there can be, we can have way more subscribers than, cause we have so many members. 
Good point. Devante. So I'm going to split this in half. So with my chapter, per se, that could be improved, would say, with communication. Um, communication on Zoom, since we're all virtual and everything, that was the biggest challenge. <laughs> um, so I think that should be improved and pretty much that. And with parents getting involved in Catholic League as a whole, um, as a whole within Catholic League, I could say, um, like what Zion said, tech savvy, like just like still, like if we're all going to be virtual, if we're still going to do certain meetings virtually, let's still try to get the swing of it, like doing certain things. Let's get the swing of doing them. So I think that's pretty much that I can think of. All right, and we're back to Patrick. Uh, specifically, uh, well, for my chapter, I would say we need to get on the same page because, um, like a couple of the other board members were saying, um, the younger kids are as attentive as the older kids, so um, that's one thing I would say. For me. And like the capital league, the capital league convention, um, I would say better attention grabber, like have um, a better way to interact and like grab people's attention at the start of the conference. Okay. Good. So. Uh... And Devante, are you my only senior of this group uh, that's on tonight? Um, Chancellor, uh, also. Chancellor, okay. All right. Well, uh, one thing I want to say to to both of you is, you know, again, best of luck going forward. Uh, know that uh, feel free to call on me as a resource when you're in college or afterwards, and anything I can do to help and support you then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be willing to do that. So just know I'm going to, you know, stay in touch so I know what's going on with you. And again, if I can be of assistance or, you know, any of, uh, you know, any of the capitalists from a national uh, committee perspective can be of assistance, then we're going to, we're going to do that. Uh, for those, again, you guys did, uh, did a great job. You guys have set the bar a little higher for the next board coming up next year and I'm going to I'm going to make them set the bar a little higher for the for the following uh, just uh, as kind of last comments I guess I will would ask and I won't go to everyone but anyone that wants to offer an opinion uh, any advice cuz like I said we probably will be virtual going into the fall any advice on how to make the the virtual meetings more effective Mm. And this is for mm. everybody, so. Now you got me thinking. That's a thinking question. Yeah, that's a thinking <laughs> question. Good. Yeah. I mean, we're on teenagers a lot, so I feel like if we make it, like, some way to make it funny or some way to make it, like, a group a group thing, I feel like that would really help, too. Like, something to look forward to. Like, not like, oh, I have a cabin meeting, but, like, oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to, you know. I think if we can find out, because we're all teenagers, I mean, we know how we work. I feel like if we can do something that can, like, be something funny, that would help a lot. Okay. Any, before I let you go on that, any suggestions on what would be fun or funny? Because what I think might be fun or funny may not be <laughs> for you. So, any suggestions? Um, I think what we could do is, like, Somebody could like share their screen and maybe have like a short video or something that might be funny or like a try not to laugh or something like that. Okay. All right. That's a good That's idea. Good. I like that. All right. I have another idea. Actually. Sure. Sure. Um, well, similar to being funny, um, I was on an, I was on this, uh, I was on this um, program called Inroads. It was pretty much a, um, program to help me with networking and just be just how to act in the business world and they pretty much 
with the people speaking. It was just their energy in general is what kept us like listening to them and engaged because um if there are like if there are kids on and like um 13 year olds and stuff on the set on the call they're just gonna i feel like they're gonna have that same energy just like oh i have another meeting but if we're more interesting the people presenting they will be more engaged and more excited to join the call Good. Anyone else? I have something. Sure. Using TikTok to your advantage. Okay. Um, I'm thinking that I was just thinking that. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but I was literally just thinking that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, I've seen, like, there's a kid who has used TikTok for his advantage tutoring. He used it for math. There, like, he, like, I mean, like, even though he uses it as, like, fun like he uses music he, he uses music to his advantage he uses like what he has for his advantage so i mean like for things that we have like to talk about how about like we use tiktok to like i'm not gonna say explain it but i could say like to um i mean introduce it or have challenges with tiktok like let's say you have to do a challenge based off of historical figures and you like, I don't know, I mean, like, you point out which figures, um, or not figures, which uh, events happened for this figure, what happened during this timeline, stuff like that. Like, you don't have to do it on a poster. You don't have to talk about it. You could just, I don't know, I mean, like, point to it or something like that. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to explain it better, but I, that's all I got. <laughs> but use TikTok for your advantage. All right, good. I'll take that. All right. And you can get money from it while you're playing. You can get um, <laughs> I'm just being honest. You get you get people to tag you in it. I mean, you, that's that can be a new source of revenue if you think about it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, good. So, uh, in general, I want to thank you for your time, and you know, can't tell you how much I, I've appreciated you. And uh, you know, I'm a big person on doing quotes and things like that. So, you know, the, the quote I'm going to leave you with is, uh, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. I like that quote. <laughs> be yourself. So anyway, Mr. I appreciate you. And again, you guys know how to reach me uh, if you need anything. And again, I, again, just appreciate you guys so much. You guys have a good evening. He's yeah, safe. Me too. This All is right, like uh, this is like the end of like a TV show. Like, All right, yo. <laughs>